Hello everybody, um, this is the end of the month haul for April 2022, um, and I know this is really late, it's like eight days late, um, but yeah, I figured just still do it because there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to show off, and I've just been super busy lately, couldn't film it in time, but uh, here I am now, so let's go ahead and just get started with the stuff that isn't Blu-ray or DVD related, um, and I did get a ring light. Um, you can see it in the reflection off of my glasses. I got a ring light. And it's pretty cool. It can change colors. Um, and I'm hoping it doesn't produce too much of a glare because that would be really annoying if it did. Because a lot of the stuff that I have, like a lot of the videos that I make are Blu-ray related. And having like um, the case have a giant glare on it would be super annoying. But... Yeah, um, nonetheless, I still got it. It was supposed to have a phone holder as well, but my phone is so big, it couldn't fit in it, so couldn't get that to work. Uh, I just have it propped up against the ring light currently. It, it's a cool ring light. I got it for relatively cheap as well. Um, yeah, uh, interesting. And then you guys can see it in the background. Hopefully this doesn't knock over anything. I got a dark saber from the Mandalorian and Star Wars The Clone Wars. Um, it's awesome. I, I love this thing. Love, love that thing a lot. And then I got a Funko Pop of Luke Skywalker with Grogu. Uh, this is a cool one. I found this in like a resale shop for like ten dollars i think um and i could not tell you guys how many times i looked for the riddler funko pop nowhere had it that's the one funko pop that i'm wanting right now like really really badly and could not find it anywhere um just no one had it i guess which is dumb because batman's like really popular right now and to not have that funko pop but to have like Selena Kyle on a motorcycle and just normal Batman is just kind of dumb, but I looked everywhere for it. Could not find it anywhere. And then I got one VHS tape. Um, not sure if I'm going to put it up in the background yet because I haven't seen the movie. I'm wanting to watch it, though, because this is a movie that is super hard to find on DVD and hasn't gotten a Blu-ray release. True Lies. Um, I've heard this is an awesome movie. It's got Arnold in it. I'm excited to watch it. And then, I'm an avid music lover. And mainly, rock and rock and roll. Um, they're my go-to genres of music. And I got six albums this month. I got Green Day, American Idiot. Um, awesome soundtrack, or not soundtrack, awesome album classic and then um the rest of these are just like greatest hits albums from like 70s and 80s rock and roll artists eric clapton love the dude the man he has so many great songs uh, this one has wonderful tonight i don't want to say this this one on on the channel but um it, it's something about drugs <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Um, you guys probably, if you know who Eric Clapton is, you'll know, you'll know the song. And then, um, his rendition of Knocking on Heaven's Door. That, that song is a classic ballad. If you haven't heard it, please do yourself a favor. And listen to Bob Dylan's version, Guns N' Roses version, and then Eric Clapton. I think that's the order that they came out, but, uh, I know Bob Dylan was the first one. Uh, Steve Miller Band. Love this, they love this band. Um... This one has The Joker, Take the Money and Run, Rockin' Me, um, and Fly Like an Eagle, which were all songs that I was, like, sold on buying that, because I love the band. Their their songs are really good, uh, most of the time, at least. <laughs> and some of them are just, like, fun to listen to, because they're so, I don't, like, zany, kind of like Tom Petty songs. Um, it's... <laughs> I, I love that band so much for for multiple reasons. Then we have Guns N' Roses. This one has their rendition of Knocking on Heaven's Door. And then Welcome to the Jungle, Sweet Child of Mine, 
uh, Paradise City, um, like all of their classic songs on there. You can you can read them if it's not reversed. That is, um, and then we have Poison, great great band. Um, if you have never heard of them, maybe you've heard of their songs. Nothing but a good time. Fallen Angel. Every rose has his, every rose has its thorn. Um, yeah, great, great songs. And then the classic Electric Light Orchestra. Uh, this one has Mr. Blue Sky, Evil Woman, Don't Bring Me Down. A lot of classic songs on that. So, yeah, I um, have listened to every single one of these albums, and I just got them this past month. So, yeah, now on to the actual Blu-rays and DVDs, which I'm sure you guys are here to see. Um, or maybe you're just sick of me um, covering these on the channel, but that's I'm, what I got. So, first stop this month that I made was a Dollar Tree, and I got Spree. Um, this one has a slipcover on it, and this is actually a really cool horror movie. It's kind of like just like American Psycho um, found footage in a sense, whereas, um, Joe Keery, and he's live streaming, killing people in a taxi, kind of. Well, it's, in this, is, it's called a spree, but it's technically, like, a taxi. Kind of. It's, or, like, Uber. Um, and, <laughs> yes, if you're wondering, he kills, uh, isn't that James Charles? I'm pretty sure it's James Charles, but I, I don't, um, couldn't tell you. Then, um, oh, forgot to cover these, but, um, I got the first four seasons of Seinfeld. So, we got seasons one and two, season three, and season four without its, like, slip box like this. So, yeah, that kind of stinks that it doesn't have that, but I, I can live without it. It's it's cool. Um, so, yeah, that was at a Goodwill that I got those. And then um, you guys already saw my Amazon order, so I will just quickly show these to you and give my thoughts for ones that I have seen um, since then. So, got blind spotting. Um, th th this was a fantastic movie. Um, if you've never seen it or even heard of it, please watch it. I don't know if it's on any streaming services, but please watch this fantastic movie. We have Waiting. I already shared my thoughts on this. Great comedy. Uh, Eighth Grade. <laughs> I just checked the <laughs> Eighth Grade. Um... Good, good movie. Really good movie. Um, got great performances in that one as well. And Bo Burnham, I love that man. Love that man. King of Staten Island, I've already shared my thoughts on this one as well. Amazing movie. I love this. Um, Flight. Now, I'm in the middle of watching this one. I'm pretty sure I'm like... Um, Got a half hour left of it. Denzel, the man, can do no wrong. He is so good in that movie. The Dead Zone, really cool thriller. I've already shared my thoughts on that one. I've watched it. I've actually watched that one the second time since I got these movies. Annihilation, still haven't seen this one yet. Big Fish, um, I have not seen that one either. Some like it hot. Now, I have started watching this one. But uh, it was, like, pretty late at, one, at night, and I fell asleep watching it. Um, I don't even think I got to, like, when the main premise is kicking in, so couldn't tell you anything. That I, don't, I couldn't tell you any thoughts so far on it. Uh, Sing Street. I've already shared my thoughts on this one, but great movie. Absolutely love that movie. Warrior. Uh, still haven't seen it. Ponyo shared my thoughts on this one already. I love that one. And the Alfred Hitchcock box set that I got. Um, the only one I've seen 
out of the ones that I haven't seen, which I had already seen Psycho, the ones that I had, the one that I had watched was Rear Window. Great movie. Definitely a great movie. And then I went to Walmart. That's the last of the, the Amazon stuff. that I might have forgotten to grab one or two, but yeah. Um, went to Walmart and got... Technically, I think this is a lot more than just five, but like five releases. So we have... They came from the 80s for a movie collection. We have The Fog, The Howling, Pumpkinhead, and The Burning. Um, I watched The Fog and The Burning. The Burning was a cool movie. Um, kind of just like Friday the 13th, but with a different killer. Um, and kind of a different premise. And then The Fog. Um, cool movie as well. Um, really, really great ending as well. Um, I don't want to see that remake at all, and I haven't seen Howling or Pumpkinhead yet, but I probably will in October, because scary movie season, why not? Uh, and then, one movie that I already had was Cliffhanger, but I wanted to get this for Last Action Hero. Um, I haven't seen Cliffhanger or Last Action Hero yet. And then, <laughs> one that I'm kind of scared of watching, um, Deliverance. Because I figured out as, like, as soon as I bought it, this is, this is that movie that has the infamous, what, squeal piggy squeal or whatever. Yeah, I don't, I'm scared of watching that now. But I want to watch it just so I can get, rid, get over it, but I, I'm scared of watching it. Um, Spider-Man No Way Home, I think everyone bought this movie because it's, it's, it's good. Um, it's really good, but I don't know. I, I started rewatching it. The beginning is not that good. Um, and I just know it gets, I know it gets better, but the beginning is not very good. Like, it, they have the exact, it has like the exact same issues as Spider-Man Far From Home that, like, the awkward humor, I, that's what I hate. About Far From Home. And I hate the humor in that movie. And that's what really brings it down. And because Mysterio kind of sucked as a villain. But um, I... I need to watch this all the way through. Again. Because there's a lot of good stuff in it. A lot of great stuff. I should say. And a lot of just... Eh. Just eh. Yeah. And if, if you're wondering, Far From Home is actually my least favorite MCU movie. Um, that is not my least favorite MCU movie. No, no Way Home is is not. Uh, I think it's like my fifth favorite. Um, I need to just rewatch more MCU movies because so far I'm just like, like right now I'm really not into the MCU. Like they should have just ended it by now with Endgame. It's per it would be perfect. And I know that people are going to argue that. They kept she kept going because No Way Home. They wouldn't have brought that out if they ended it. But honestly, I don't think we really needed to get into the multiverse stuff. We just needed to have this grounded stuff now. And I don't know, multiverse of madness might be great because it might be just up my alley like right now because I'm not that big into MCU. But I'm really getting into like indie stuff, like horror movies. And that seems like a movie made for me because I love the Evil Dead, I love Sam Raimi, and I really like Doctor Strange, the first one. So I'm really looking forward to Multiverse of Madness still, even though there's other movies that I want to watch more, specifically Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> and then final thing from Walmart, we have Clint Eastwood. For movie collection, this has the uh, Man With No Name trilogy, <clears throat> Fistful of Dollars, for a few dollars more, The Good, Bad, and The Ugly, and then Hang em High. Um, I don't think it's related to those other three movies. Could be directed by Sergio Leone, Le Leone but I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, but... 
Yeah, I'm, I mainly just bought this because it was, like, the cheapest option to get the, um, Man With No Name trilogy. So, yeah, got those, and, um, Deliverance and Clint Eastwood collection had, like, these cool slipcovers. Um, I saw more of these like this, like, there was To Kill a Mockingbird, um, a couple other movies, and I don't remember what they were, but I do want to go back and try and buy more of those. Because they looked relatively cool. Um, and um, just one thing I didn't know about this. I got broken uh, case. It's like ripped back here. You can see the hole. It kind of blows. <laughs> and then, one more movie before I get into the big haul that I got from Goodwill. Um... My friend Reagan got a box of movies from his uncle, I think, and he went through and found one that I had in my watch list, Free State of Jones. Uh, I saw the trailer for this, and a lot of people said that the trailer gives away, like, literally everything, but it's got Matthew McConaughey and something about the Civil War, so I am very interested. Even though I might have, like, literally been spoiled for everything in that movie, I'm still intrigued. And then, I went to several Goodwills this month. If if you think that I got this from one Goodwill, I did not. This was from, I believe, four? Four trips? I think. <laughs> I think. Um, could be wrong on that, but... Yeah, let's just go ahead and get started, because I don't want to... I don't want to just stall around because I want to get into this stuff because it's some pretty cool pretty cool stuff so first off we got uh this is, no okay Moneyball Brad Pitt um I've heard really um good things about this movie so I've been wanting to watch it uh and it's baseball so that's that's cool um King Arthur Legend of the Sword um I've heard from a couple people that it's pretty good, um, so it, it was like two dollars, I think, so went ahead, got that one. Artificial Intelligence, um, Steven Spielberg movie, I got this one brand new in the wrapping, and it's, um, full screen, so that's been sealed for a long time. <laughs> And it had, like, all of the old, um, security stickers on there, too, so, um, there might be some residue from those. I don't know, but it, it, <laughs> it had the old, it had the old security labels as well, if I remember right. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit, um, I've heard some really good things about this movie, and I've never seen it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I've just... I haven't been super interested in this in that movie, but uh and same thing with this this upcoming movie. Um but I have heard good things about them and I just I'm intrigued to watch them. So Hondo. Like I said, I haven't heard I mean I've heard good things about it, but I haven't been super interested in it. Um John Wayne movie. Yeah. Um I I don't know. This one I had been interested in, but I didn't hear anything good about it. Robin Hood. <laughs> From 2018. Uh, Jamie Foxx and Taron Edgerton. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I'm interested in this movie, but I am. Um, and it was $2. So, I mean, it's $2. It's like, I don't want to throw away $2 for a bad movie, but at the same time, it's just $2. I mean, if it's bad, I mean, whatever, eh, you know, whatever. Um, and then I got a second copy of V for Vendetta, but the thing is, my old copy had sticker residue on it, like, down on the, on the bottom of it, and this one is the two-disc special edition, the other was not, so, I got this one, and it's got an even better cover on it as well, so, that is pretty cool. Um, got Taxi Driver. Now, this one I have seen, 
and it's uh, it's good. I need to rewatch it though. It wasn't my thing, if you know what I mean. It wasn't my thing. Um, but Robert De Niro was good in it. In Martin Scorsese movie. It's one of my first, I think, and it's kind of the the digi pack. It's got on the inside. It's got the disc, and then it's got cards, a lot of cards. Um, so yeah, just a lot of cards. So that's interesting. And you know, I might hang up this one on my wall because it's like the the poster or one of the posters. So yeah, um, pretty cool addition. And that one was at a Goodwill for two ninety nine, I believe. So yeah, pretty cool. Then, um, this was, these were, I think, yeah, these and the Seinfeld, um, the Seinfeld box sets were in my first two trips, and then my, um, I'll go through these uh, five really quickly. Uh, I, I'm confused. I don't know how I had these organized. I didn't really have them organized, so, um, did I go to five Goodwills? <laughs> I'm insane. I went to five Goodwills this month. Dang. <laughs> okay. Um, well, Okay, I will we'll, I will just separate these then. So Goodwill number three. We have four movies. Um Double Jeopardy. This one I don't believe has a Blu-ray release in America. Um I think it does in Australia or something like that. Like some um like weird retailer made one. So yeah. And then We Were Soldiers, uh Mel Gibson, I think. Was this directed by what? By no, it wasn't okay. So, thought it was, but <clears throat> it was not. Um, it was not directed by Mel Gibson, just has a minute. Uh, and you know, Mel Gibson war movies have always been something interesting, like, and the only two I've seen, I believe, are Braveheart and. Hacksaw Ridge, and he directed Hacksaw Ridge, he wasn't in it, but, um, Hacksaw Ridge was great, Braveheart is not really, like, your typical war movie, but he directed it, and acted in it, and it's, it's great, and then We Were Soldiers is, like, straight up war movie, he's in it, and he didn't direct it, though, um, hoping this is good, though, hoping that one is good, and then we got Juno, um, I heard this was a really good comedy, so was interested to check that out. Uh, and then, <laughs> this one's a duplicate, um, Shazam. I wanted to get this because I only have the DVD of it, and this one has the Blu-ray, obviously, and then it had a digital code in it, which I wanted, I wanted to use, but it was already redeemed, so I guess the person just bought the, the, the Blu-ray to just get the code, and then gave the movie away, like, the, the discs away, because the discs were, like, spick and span, like, they were very, very clean, <laughs> so, yeah, I just went ahead and got that one, because, why not just upgrade, you know, for two dollars, not bad, so, yeah, that was Goodwill number three, number four, Goodwill number four, I got Frequency with Dennis Quaid and Jim Caviezel, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't, I don't know. Um, I've heard from a couple of people that this is a really good movie and really underrated, so I will check that one out. Um, another movie that I already had previously, but the disc was, like, clean, really clean, and the copy that I have has, like, a huge scratch down the middle, because I... I don't know, it might have been because I've seen it, like, three, no, more than three times. 
And because when I bought it, it kind of had, like, it, the scratch was starting to show, and then I watched it multiple times, and it just skips over the scene now. So, might be because of that, but I got 8 Mile. And the other copy I had was full screen. This is widescreen, so that's cool. And 8 Mile's a movie that I love, so definitely needed that. American Wedding. I believe this is the third American Pie movie. And I have the first two. I've only seen the first one, though. So, I have not seen that one yet. Um, uh, Wolf Creek. Uh, Australian movie, I think? Um. Um. Yeah, I, I think, I think this is an, Aus like, Australian, based, based in Australia. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. This is not gonna be edited, by the way, at all. It's not. Um, so sorry, this is, like, super laid back. Um, never seen this one. Yeah, never seen Wolf Creek. I've heard some pretty good things about it, though. Um, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, Russell Crowe. I've heard some pretty good things about it, so I'll check that one out. And then Perfect Storm, Mark Wahlberg, George Clooney. Directed by Wolfgang Peterson. Um, this one. And... Um, frequency are in these. The old... Um, clipper cases. Cardboard clipper cases. So, I've heard some pretty good things about this movie as well. So, I will check that one out. I don't know when. It's... It's a longer movie as well, so it's like two and a half hours, something like that. Um, the Mask of Zorro, this is one that I'm going to be watching relatively soon. I have been wanting to watch this one for a very long time. Ever since I was like a little kid, I heard about this movie and I was like, this looks like a cool movie. And I heard amazing things about it, like even now, like people... Like on YouTube, just saying it's it's a great movie, classic movie. I really want to watch it, <laughs> and it's I I've heard it's good too. So I mean, can't be bad. I don't think <laughs> this one had a gigantic sticker on the back of it and it annoyed the crap out of me getting it off. Million Dollar Baby. I don't know, like some <laughs> some weirdos like just randomly put their name on a sticker on the back of it so i i don't even i probably wouldn't have gotten it if i knew that it was on the back of it because i didn't see it for some reason but whatever i mean, i still got it i i've heard good things about it and then last but not least for good will number four uh, is what about bob um i've heard some good things about that movie I mean, I've heard it's weird as well, so... Uh, I'm... G keeping... I don't... I don't know how to phrase it. it I'm... Trying... <laughs> to just, like, lower my expectations, but at the same time really want to see it. I, weird. I know. And then the final Goodwill I went to, which was... Actually yesterday. So technically I got these in May, but... And I still wanted to show these off. So I got 15 titles. Okay. <laughs> 15 movies. And it was half off day. So they were dollar, dollar fifty each. I think this was the most expensive one, the the Wolverine. Um I haven't heard really any great things about the Wolverine, but I still want to watch it because it's I think this is the only x-men movie i haven't seen yet and it's one that i want to watch so i don't know why i haven't watched it yet so weird weird uh red eye uh west craven plane movie yeah plane movie west craven plane movie uh intrigued me i heard about this in a review that someone made that um i don't know if you've heard about him cody leach on youtube uh, here on the platform, he does great reviews, please go subscribe to him, awesome guy, um, he did a Wes Craven movie review series, and he reviewed Red Eye, and gave it a pretty positive score, 
And one dollar for a Wes Craven uh, horror thriller that I've heard is pretty good. I'll get, uh, um, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Plane thriller sounds pretty interesting to me. I'm not sure why. Um, ooh. this one had some residue on it, or not some residue, but like it, one of the like security label. Uh, Miami Vice with Colin Farrell and Jamie Foxx. Uh, I've heard some good things about this movie. Um, not exactly sure when I am going to watch it though, but I'm intrigued. A uh, movie that I need to rewatch, and why I got it because I want to rewatch it, is Quantum of Solace. Um, now, from what I remember of it, it had really sloppy editing, did not care for the villain at all, and the plot was just like, it was alright. I mean, as a continuation for Casino Royale, it was alright. Um,. And I'm pretty sure this was also, like, when the writer's strike happened as well. So, like, um, like this and, like, uh, Transformers 2. Like, when those movies came out, they had, they had uh, like, a writer's strike. And those two movies were produced at that time. So, uh, I need to rewatch that one, like I said. But I will lower my expectations from what I remember because it was just an eh movie. Um, next up, a horror movie that, again, Cody Leach um, says is really a great movie. Stir of Echoes. Um, um, I, I don't really know what it's about at all, but I've heard it's pretty disturbing. And it's got Kevin Bacon in it. Kevin Bacon's a pretty good actor, so I will watch that one eventually. Um, might be soon, because I am very intrigued to watch that movie. And, I don't know. Um, that guy, Cody Leach, like I was talking about, I don't know him in person, like, I don't talk to him or anything, but from the movies that he's recommended, like, people haven't seen, like, most people haven't seen, and I watch them, I, they're usually movies that I end up really liking, so Red Eye and Stir of Echoes were movies that I did want to watch. And then one that I don't know how to really describe this one, The Passion of the Christ. Um, I've never seen this one, but I, I don't really like talking about, like, my faith or anything, but, um, this is one that I am intrigued to watch. Because of certain things. <laughs> I don't know. It's just and it's it's Mel Gibson, right? Mel Gibson directed. Yeah. So I am intrigued and I just want to watch it, I guess. Um and then we have Public Enemies with Johnny Depp. Um I don't know like what this court case is really about, but I haven't looked into it. His court case with Amber Heard. Uh, all I know is that Amber Heard sucks. I mean, it's kind of a <laughs> common belief, but yeah. Uh, Johnny Depp, I I'm rooting for him to win that court case. I'm hoping he gets out victorious because if not, that just sucks because he's probably going to lose all of his acting career. So, um, yeah, I mean... He's a great actor. He might be weird as all get out, but he is a great actor. And I have always been intri intrigued to watch, well, not always, but I've been intrigued to watch Public Enemies. That's got Christian Bale in it, so can't be, can't be too bad with them two in it. Smoking Aces. Uh, this movie recently just got a 4k i believe and um it the the steelbook for it looks pretty cool as well but this was a dollar and i don't have it haven't seen it so yeah i got that burn after reading 
um, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Francis McDormand, John Malkovich, and Tilda Swinton. And it's directed by the Coen Brothers. So, that has been up my alley for a little while. I mean, it's, it seems up my alley, and I've been wanting to watch it for a while. That's what I should have said. Um, the American. I've heard this is a pretty cool action thriller, and it's got George Clooney in it, again. So, yeah. Um, Best Picture, I believe. Right? Best Picture winner? Did this one Best Picture? I don't... I don't remember. Um, Brokeback Mountain? Did this win? I don't... I don't know. Um, it won Best Director, though. It says right there. Yeah. Um, so... Never seen that. <laughs> Never seen it. Uh, and clearly I don't know much about it because I didn't... I don't know if it won Best Picture or not, but... Um, Ray, uh, Jamie Foxx. Um, I've heard this is a really good movie. Really good biopic. News is about... It's, uh, Ray Charles. Pianist, I, I, I think. I think. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I, I'm... I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Zodiac, uh, thriller, um, by, um, David Fincher, <laughs> I'm blanking on a lot of things, guys, I'm sorry, uh, Zodiac, great, from what I've heard, great thriller, and then, two movies that I found brand new in the seal, I already cracked them open, though, um, I got Heat, I already own this, though. Um, I had, like, a, a snapper case for it, and I wanted to get the normal binding, like, the the normal binding that they have today, so. Yeah, um, I'll probably just give the my other copy away to someone, because I know a couple people that want to watch that movie as well. I have never seen that, though. And then, finally, probably not a great way to end this off, but we have... The Losers, uh, with Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Chris Evans. Um, yeah, uh, I'm <laughs> I'm intrigued to watch it, and I've heard that it opens up with Chris Evans with a like a the voiceover <laughs> to the American flag, and this came out before Captain America, so um, like it predicted that he was going to be Captain America, which I, I've always thought is kind of funny that it predicted he was going to be Captain America before Captain America came out. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's everything. Um, long video. I'm sorry. This is probably going to be my longest video on the channel so far. Uh, and that's, that's everything that I got and all my thoughts on everything. <laughs> Um, th I like making these videos because it's an easy way to talk about movies that normally I wouldn't review on the channel because they're not newer or I haven't seen them yet. And it's just like kind of like an easy way to just like talk about those movies and show off what I got because that's cool, right? Making people jealous that I got uh, the, the losers and what about Bob? <laughs> I yeah, I don't I don't know. <laughs> So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're sticking, if you've stuck around, um, that's everything that I got. Lot, long video, I know, I'm sorry, um, but it had to be made because I need to make justice for my seven day late video, eight day late video. I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, there you guys go. Um, that's, that does it. And thank you guys for watching again and stay tuned for more. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm close to 50 subscribers, um, so it would be awesome if I can make that. If I can make that, and um, if I could get 100 subscribers by the end of the year, that would be awesome. And I don't see that happening because my channel is not that great, and I don't post very often. So, I mean, and uh, look forward for that Stranger Things review series because it is happening still. I still haven't filmed it. I still haven't filmed my season one review, but it is happening. I swear. I pinky, I pinky promise y'all. I pinky promise y'all. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again and stay tuned for more in the future. So farewell, amigos.